Hi, I'm Adam the Woo, and you're watching South Coast Detecting with Aaron. Hello all, Aaron here, back out on the beach. Now this time I'm out doing a versus video. I don't normally do these. Um, I've met up with friends in the past, you know, when I had my Ace 250 and they had the uh, 300i, we did a versus that way around, but I've not done a proper head-to-head -head versus video. This is the first. And uh, in this video, we're gonna be pitting the, it's basically budget models. We are going for um, entry level machines that's the criteria for this video entry level machines bear that in mind uh, we're going to look at an entry level machine from Nocta Macro we're going to look at an entry level machine from Garrett and an entry level machine from Mine Lab. all three of them are going to be pitted against each other head to head uh, on the same targets at the same depth just to see how we get on because you, the consumer, you might want to go out there and get one of these machines if you're looking to start the hobby of metal detecting. So, we're going to be testing the entry-level machines. Let's have a look at what machines we've got coming up. So, Nocta Macro, their brand new, new kit on the block, the Simplex. I know a lot of you are sick of seeing this machine, and some of you are very interested in this machine. But, however you look at it, this is the entry level machine for Nocta Macro. They don't do a cheaper machine than this as yet. At the point of me making this video, this is the cheapest machine they do. Retails at 299, comes with a uh, double D coil, fully waterproof, and we'll see how it gets on. Let's have a look at the next machine. The next machine in this lineup is the Garrett Ace 250. Now the Garrett entry level machine, the cheapest they do is the Ace 150, uh, but I didn't think it was fair to put the Ace 150 in this. Uh, so we've gone one up and we've gone for the 250. A lot of people love this machine. I love this machine. I started with this machine. This is mine. I've had many a good hunt for many a few years with this. Absolutely loved using it. So the Ace 250, we're gonna pit that against the uh, Simplex and one more machine. This one comes with a concentric coil. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it gets on. Let's have a look at the next machine. The next machine is from Mine Lab. Now, at the point of me making this video, uh, they have just released the Vanquish, although it's not available in the shop, so I can't get my hands on one to put it in this test. So at the point of making this video, the entry level machine from Mine Lab is the Go Find series. Now, the, the lowest, Entry level machine on the GoFind series is the 11, followed by the 22. And I didn't think it was fair to pit either of those, so we've gone for the 44. So we've got the GoFind 44 versus the Ace 250 versus the Nocta Macro Simplex. All of them are entry level machines. All of them uh, are supposed to be good all rounders on the beach in the field, although some people would say that the Garrett is not suited for the beach. If you do the settings right on the Garrett, you can use it on the beach. I've found many a good uh, few coins, rings, and things like that with the Garrett. But um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Let's show you what we're gonna be looking for. So when you're beach detecting, what else would you find down the beach? Or what would you want to find down the beach but rings? So here we are, we're gonna be starting off with rings. This is what we're gonna be burying today. We're going to be uh, burying this nine carat gold ring. Why are we burying a nine carat ring? Well, purely because some machines struggle with nine carat. They come up low and if they're at depth, they can come up really low and be mistaken for junk. We want to see how they get on on this test with a nine carat ring. So that is why we're using nine carats in this test. Next, we're going to be using a silver ring. Oh no, this isn't, this is the titanium. So we've got a titanium ring as well, which we're gonna be burying. Still nice, precious metal, decent ring, and we'll see how it gets on at depth with that. We've also got a 925 silver ring. I believe it's a wedding band, might not be, but uh, we're gonna see how we're gonna get on with that. On a lot of the machines, it rings up really high, especially on the Garrett, high end, 
good tones. We'll see how they get on with de depth with this. And uh, we've also got rose gold. Rose gold. Not quite gold, but nearly gold. Rose gold machine. Uh, most rose gold ring. Got loads of crap on it. We'll see how it gets on with that at depth. And then finally, we've got a junker. This isn't uh, gold. This isn't silver. It isn't anything, really. It's just what I would consider costume jewellery. Just a nice bit of bling. A little party piece. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it gets on with the junker at depth. Now, all of these rings will be buried in this damp sand. It's not completely wet because obviously the Garrett Ace 250 on the wet sand, if you're doing it full sensitivity, no discrimination, will just be chirping away, look like you wouldn't believe. So didn't think that would be fair on the Ace 250. So moderately moist sand. Moist. Anyway, everything is going to be buried at the depth of this pinpointer, which I believe is a 94 inches so 9.4 inches let's say around about nine inches down for all of these items i'll uh, get these buried now and then we'll start our test there you go just see at the bottom of that hole there nine inches that's our first target that is our gold ring nine carat gold ring let's test that out bury it test it out see what we got <laughs> just a little side note whilst i was clearing the area to try and tidy this up to try and find a spot that was blank with no signals on it. This just came up. A uh, 1967 penny. <laughs> Did not expect to find that today. Right, anyway, let's carry on with this, uh, this test. Right, first target. Just here, you can see where the string is entering the sand. Nine inches down, nine carat gold. Now, just getting that on a runoff. Let's have a look at numbers. Let's see, numbers are jumpy. Numbers come and go. And that, that is in beach mode. It's picking it up. The numbers come and go, but it's picking it up. Nine inches, nine carat gold ring. Yep, it's getting it. There you go. All right, let's try the next one. Right, Garrett, H250, no discrimination, all metal mode, full sensitivity. It's hitting it. Okay, we've lost it on this side. Lost it on that side. So the trick with the Garrett is if you get a target, it's to swing fast over it. That's something I've noticed. It performs better if you do a fast swing over. See? So, would I dig that? Possibly. But, yeah, see? We're, it's coming up down here, some of it. So I'm not sure if I would. But that's nine inches, nine carat gold on the Garrett. Right, let's try the next one. So the next one, the go find. Again, full sensitivity, no discrimination.
Yep, getting it. Nine carat gold ring, nine inches. Yeah, it's getting it. No trouble. No trouble. Right, let's go on to the next ring. There you go, nine inches, rose gold, lying flat. Let's see how we get on with this one. Okay, beach mode again. Yeah, we're getting that. Even getting some numbers there, look. Yeah. Getting that. Right, let's try the next one. Remember, these are all stock coils. I know that an Ace 250 with an El Tornado is a pretty, uh, pretty tasty little setup, but we've got to do this with the stock coils. It's getting it. Look at that, nine inches. Let's take the cover off so you can see. Not getting it on every swing. I mean, would you miss that if you were walking over it? No. Don't think so. Yeah, there you go. Garrett gets it. Go find 44. No discrimination, full power. Yeah, we're getting that. We're getting that. Shooting in on low numbers like the Garrett was. Would you dig it? Would you dig it? Possibly. Well, there you go. So far they've all got it. That was the rose gold, nine inches. So next up, silver ring, down there, nine inches, lying flat. Let's see how we get on. Okay, simplex, full sensitivity, uh, beach mode. Yeah, we're getting that. Numbers are staying high as well, it's not dropping. Good tone, good numbers, definitely dig that. Okay, next up we got the Garrett again. Full sensitivity, no discrimination. Again, that's coming up really low. Normally, with a silver, a Garrett, it would it would sing. It'd be right at the top here, right at the top. Yeah, 
There we go. So at the wrong angle, you might miss that. There we go, there we go. So, little iffy, but yeah, just about getting that. I think it was if it was much deeper, a little bit deeper, maybe an inch or two, maybe that would ring up too low and you wouldn't bother digging it. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Same again, full sensitivity, no discrimination. That is hitting it. More often than not, I suppose. It's hitting it, it's hitting it. Not always giving a good tone, but it's hitting it. There you go, lovely. Right, let's go on to the next ring. Okay, with this next one, everything seems to be hitting it. Everything is hitting the rings, which is a good thing. So, we're gonna put this one in on its edge, as you can see there, and it's deeper than nine inches. That's down at about 10 or 11 inches, that. And it's a titanium ring on its edge. So let's fill that in and we'll see how we get on. First up, simplex again, beach mode, full sensitivity. There we go, titanium ring around 11 inches, standing up on its edge. It's not lying flat, it's up on its edge. We're getting that. Let's try the next one. Garrett. Again, titanium ring on its edge. Around 11 inches. No discrimination. Full sensitivity. All metal mode. We're getting nothing off the Garrett. Whoop. Here we go. We're getting it there. The ring is lying that way in the hole. So when you come round and you're going across it that way, you're not getting anything with the garret. But if you go in the length of the ring, seems we're picking it. Just a, yeah, just about. Let's move it round a little. No. We should get it as we come round this way. There we go. Has it? No, well, yep. Yeah. As you can see, I'm really scraping the floor here to try and, yeah. So we're getting it that way. So, getting it kind of that way, so I should be able to get it this way. No, for some reason, but there you go. So that's how the Garrett got on. Let's try the next one. Right, go find. Again, full sensitivity. No discrimination. Yeah, 
Should get it here. Should get it nice this way. Move around. It's getting it. It's not always sounding good, but it's getting it. Right, let's move on to the next ring. And again, the final one, it's gonna be this junk ring. Don't necessarily wanna find these sort of things, but let's see how it gets on. We'll put it down there in the hole. We've got light flat, as you can see, that is just below the surface. So that's gonna be, again, round about, I'd say, 10, 11 inches. Let's fill this in and we'll see how we get on. Okay, simplex, beach mode, full sensitivity. Yeah, that's getting it, it's loud as well. That's not just like fading off, that's really loud. Eh? But you can tell it's junker, because it's clipped. Because on beach mode, there is a little bit of dis uh, discrimination there that you can't turn off, which is something I would like knock to macro to uh, sort out because I'd rather turn that off when I'm in beach mode. I want to hear the full tone, even the low iron tones. So knock to macro, if you're watching, can we have a, an update where we can turn that off, please? So beach mode is full, fully open because that's clipped. So it's obviously picking up the iron somewhere in the ring, but you can't hear it because of that discrimination. So it's just clipping, just clipping the signal. Yeah? Just clipping the signal. It's there. But I would rather if we can update, so pick up that. Open up the discrimination in beach mode. Right. Well, it's getting it. 10 inches, junk ring. Let's check the next one out. Right, Ace 250, full discrimination, all metal mode, full sensitivity. 10 inches. All day long. Missing it a bit there, but lovely double dingo right there. Absolutely lovely. So an Ace 250 with a uh, tornado coil on it. Mmm, tasty. Right, let's uh, go on to the next one. Last one. Go find again. Full power, full discrimination, open. Again, it's picking up that it's a junker. Coming up nice as well, but it is telling you, yeah, it's something pretty, but it's also uh, got rubbish elements to it. Cool. Let's do one last test, but this time, We'll do it again on the coin, uh, the, the ring that they all kind of struggled with, which was, uh, I think it was the, the nine carat gold. And we'll put it deeper. We'll see how deep we can get it until we lose it. So again, we'll go with the uh, nine carat ring. Uh, the reason I've got gone for a nine carat is because I do have a 24 carat ring, but I can't get it off my pudgy fat fingers. So uh, we'll, go, <laughs> we'll go with the nine carat. And also some machines do struggle with nine carat gold. Uh, especially thin chains. 
So we've tried it at nine. We've they've all picked it up at nine. Let's try it a little deeper. Let's see if we can go up maybe twelve and see how we get on with that. Okay, here you go. Pinpointer is nine inches. As you can see from the top, we're a good two or three inches off. So there you go. There's our twelve inches. Uh, let's put this ring in. Let's cover it over. See how we get on. There it is. Bottom of the hole. Let's cover it in. Pat it all down and then we'll crack on. Right then. Simplex. Rose gold. 12 inches down. Just about getting it. If at all. Yeah. Just on the fade off. Right, let's try the next one. Okay, Garrett, you know how we've got it set up. No, I'm not getting anything from that ring. Rose gold, 12 inches. Nothing from the Garrett. And the last one is the Go Find 44. Again, like the Simplex, it's trying. There's something there, it knows there's something there. There we go. So there you go, three entry level machines, go find Ace 250 Simplex. Um, it would be totally up to you, obviously, which one you would go for if you're starting this hobby. Uh, the go find and the Garrett all pretty much kept up with the Simplex. They were all pretty much the same sort of thing, you know. Uh, the Garrett lagged at certain points, but that could be overcome if you got yourself a Nell Tornado. It totally changed the game and that would really boost that machine. Uh, but this is how they are straight out of the box. Now, if we put the Garrett to one side, the Go Find kept up with the Simplex pretty much. But that one's waterproof up to three meters entirely. This one is only waterproof on the coil. It's not wireless either. This one is. But in order to use it wireless, you need Nocta Macro wireless headphones. You can't just use any old headphones unless you buy a wireless dongle to plug into it. But you can use a dongle and put wired headphones in both. 299, uh, I think I remember seeing this around about 200. And then the Garrett at the moment is, uh, because of the time of year, I think it's around about 180. So what would you go for? What is it you're after? If you're after something just for the beach, Maybe the go find. Beach, field, maybe even rivers, do a bit of diving. Maybe the simplex. Or if you just have to something for the field, maybe the Ace 250. Now this video hasn't been sponsored or endorsed by anybody. If you'll notice, this is something that I wanted to do. Something that's been on my mind for a while. It's something also that people have asked me to do. They've said, yeah, you know, can you do a comparison? I know you've got an Ace 250. Can you put it against a simplex? Yeah, all right then. So there we go, that was the video and make up your own mind from what we discovered today from the rings that we went through. Also, <laughs> I was really pleased and surprised that I found that whilst I was trying to clear the area. Lovely. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be back out again at some point soon with a, a normal video, a straightforward video of me either on the beach or in the park, probably with the Simplex. Uh, and also, I've got a giveaway coming up at 3,500 subs. There is a giveaway coming up, a lovely giveaway that you don't want to miss. Crack the code, it's called. All will be explained. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Good luck, happy hunting. Ta-ra.